What's going on guys, Team Mart here, and today we are going to be taking a little bit closer look at the weapon customization in Black Ops 3. So what things like the creative class, the paint shop, stuff like that, are all things that I've either been able to actually, you know, use in-game when I've played, or at least seen presentations on. And I can tell you guys about what I've seen, but I haven't been able to show you guys, like, actual in-game examples. Because at these capture sessions, the menu screens and stuff weren't finalized, they're going to change by the time the game actually comes out, so they didn't want to showing actual menu footage. So, uh, it's been kind of a bummer that I haven't been able to show you guys exactly what I mean. Well, uh, now that's changed. So check out this tweet right here, Call that he put it out, they said all wild cards all attachments no perks equip a fully customized arc 7 complete with a custom paint job hashtag black ops 3 and you guys can see this image right here so uh, down towards the bottom you guys can see there's kind of like a, a little description of the weapon talking about some of the different attachments on it there are things like the extended barrel full metal jacket stuff like that well the deal is is with the way that weapon customization works in black ops 3 you actually don't need that description to be able to tell you can tell by the way the gun looks which is really really awesome so take a closer look here and let's start off, what's the most obvious thing you guys notice right away? Of course, right here, the reflex sight up top. So this is kind of like a red dot sight, it enhances your vision, gives you better aim, stuff like that. That is obviously, you know, uh, an attachment there. Now, uh, next up, at the end of the barrel, most barrels, or all barrels, don't look like that. Like the stock barrels, they don't have like the jagged tips with the vents in them and stuff like that. If the end of a gun's barrel looks like that, that's because they have the extended barrel on, or the long barrel that increases your range. So if you see an enemy with that, you know they're going to have slightly better range. Now next up, this middle, you know, kind of like part of the weapon here, I'm not sure the actual technical term. This isn't the, uh, the base normal version of this weapon either. It's a little bit fatter, a little bit bigger. That signifies FMJ. Next up, down towards the bottom, another big, very noticeable thing is the fact that it's got the dual mags on, so every other reload is going to be a little bit faster. And in the next up we got right here, I believe this is the quick draw grip to, uh, to be able to make you aim down sight fast. And then towards the back of the weapon, the butt of the gun, that might be the stock so that you can you know, like move around quicker. I'm not sure though, so I, I didn't want to circle that one because I'm not entirely sure. But uh, yes, yeah, so you guys can see, just based off of the, the look of the weapon, you can tell what attachments somebody has on it, which is kind of cool. And obviously, if you're in a battlefield situation, you can actually see the other guy's weapon, which might not happen all the time. You usually can see their weapon, you're going to be dead or they're going to be dead. But, uh, you know, sometimes it might be able to help you out to be able to tell what enemies have on. And the cool thing is, is that with each of these things, there are multiple different looks for each of those. So, like, you, you can have, like, you know, dual mag one, dual mag two, and dual mag three, and all three of them are going to look a little bit different. So you can completely customize your weapon to look exactly how you want it to look. Now, uh, on top of the actual attachments changing the appearance of the weapon, you guys can see, obviously, there is a paint job going on right here. So this is a paint job somebody made. It looks kind of like almost red tigerish. It's got a skull towards the back just above the, uh, the grip there and stuff like that. So that looks kind of cool. But there's even more that you can do. So this gun has a paint job on it, but it does not have a camo on it. And the camo affects everywhere that the paint job doesn't. So this yellow right here is everywhere that a camo would affect this weapon if you were to apply it to it. So you, there's just like, there's so much customization that you can add to your weapons in Black Ops 3. It's absolutely nuts. You can choose what attachments, how those attachments affect the way the gun looks, your paint job, your camo, and then you can save all of that and you can create your own variant of a weapon that's exclusive to you. And then they've talked about how they're gonna have like social features and ways to share those with your friends and stuff like that. Like, I just, I think it's gonna be one of the coolest things ever. Like, you know, weapon camos are everybody's favorite thing. Everybody loves weapon camos. The one thing you're constantly looking at in Call of Duty literally 100% of the time is your weapon. So having a cool looking weapon is awesome. Having a cool looking weapon that you can, you know, kind of attribute to yourself and relate to is awesome. And this is taking that to the next level because you're completely customizing it from the ground up which I think is pretty cool so uh, yeah there you guys have it this is kind of a quick example of the weapon customization available in Black Ops 3 hope we can get some sort of like trailer or something like this soon I'd like to be able to go a little bit more in depth with you guys but that's a pretty good overview there so uh, there you guys have it thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed check out these two screens you've seen yet and I will catch you guys later peace out